Hey, thanks for keeping me company. Here I have a 10 inch by 20 inch canvas. It was initially a painting I did, but didn't like it, so I reprepped it for a new painting. Comment if you'd like to see how I cover an old painting in order to create a new one. I'm using some leftover paint from a commission piece I did. It's two shades of beige and I hand mixed these colors, so if you like them, I'm sorry, I cannot direct you on where to find it. I blended the two colors into one and now I'm adding it to the canvas. I poured some of the paint on first so I can spread it out as far as I can, then use the rest to spread more. Typically, I like to start working on the edges first and work my way in because I like them to be fully colored, covered. But because I know I have limited base color, I started out the opposite way. So when I'm working on a new artwork, I have a special sketchbook I use to map out my ideas first. In my sketchbook, I'll include the colors I want to use, the directions I want to go, and any little details I can add. I find this to actually be much more easy for me because when I freestyle paintings, I get so many ideas and my canvas starts to get muddy real quick. I do still improvise during the process. My idea was to use primary and secondary colors against the beige. When doing fluid art, you want your base color to mix well with the other colors you add on top because if you don't, they're partying, they're moving around the canvas, they start to blend and you may not like when the party's over. This painting has a total of 14 paints used, including the hand mixed beige. I want this to be a blowout, so I'm doing streaks of reds, yellows, and then a streak of green with a little bit of blue. The reds are fiery red, scarlet, crimson, and cochineal red. The yellows are lemon yellow, sunflower iridescent, neon yellow, and yellow pale. Pool color, phthalo blue, viridian, ivy green blue iridescent, and green mid. I also added some gold iridescent. I want the yellow and red, which are warm colors, to cross each other, and then the cool colors, blue-greens, to be further out. Because if the cool colors mix with them, that's the mud party I'm trying to look for. If you're staying for the canvas party, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I'll come back when it's over.
glad you like it. So as you can see, I added some more fiery red, sunflower yellow, and gold iridescent to the yellow areas because it just didn't feel complete to me. There's a patch of red that I also fixed later. But overall, I just loved how this came out. Iridescent colors add a nice shimmer to the canvas, which you'll notice best when the paint is dry. I'll show you what I'm talking about at the end of the video, so stay with me. If you haven't already, here's another chance to like and subscribe. My paintings take about two and a half days to dry generally, so when I work on a piece, I get this inner feeling to do more, but with the limited space, I just have to wait. I also work on other crafts too. You can check out things on my Etsy shop, which I'll link down below. Thank you so much for keeping me company today. Enjoy!